My photography began as me just simply saying, this is what my world is. It was like very authentic to how I think a lot of people maybe felt, kids especially, but maybe didn't know how to express. It's like the world that you create with your best friends, this internal magic that like goes through you as a kid. Those pictures don't come without trust. And I feel really fortunate that I'm able to photograph the people in my life like this, but I'm even more fortunate that I'm able to have trust in relationships like this, and the photographs are just evidence of that. I'm like so lucky. <laughs> Ready? I feel like you're in a prime spot now yeah, I'm for a grape it. set. Oh, oh dirt grape. Dirt grape. <laughs> Damn it. Dirt grape. Are you ready? <laughs> what are you doing to me? I don't know. <laughs> when people like when you try and take someone's picture, and they're just like... <laughs> you do that sometimes. You do that! <laughs> <laughs> so, so do y'all. Yeah, no, it's fucking do it. It's fine. Are you gonna write it out? Yeah. Or just do it? I'm gonna write it out. I just wanna do the middle I'm first. just gonna do it. You write, like, butt. <laughs> <laughs> butt much. Butt much. What are you gonna write? But Muncher. What's my name? Oh. I haven't done this. Uh, Is it gonna be okay? Yeah. The first cut. Kind of feels taste. good. He was just kind of like, don't tell mom. But he and he, but he also like doesn't approve of tattoos really, or didn't at least at the time. Not your like, covered he really, in baby ones. Yeah. He he actually really likes my poem tattoo. My parents, like, when I got my terrible tattoo, like, wanted me to get it removed. Like, by la they, like, Oof. made me call my doctor. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> Can we have a group hug? Group hug! <laughs> Good fun, good fun. <laughs> mm. I'm so happy to be in New York. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of people have issues with self-hatred. I'm really, really hard on myself. And like, def I started seeing a therapist like three years ago. So we started talking about my childhood a lot. Um, and I had a sister who passed away before I was born. And so I always felt like I was the replacement child when I was growing up, which is not to say that they made me feel that way, but um, she was a very big part of my life, even though she was deceased, like a very like celebrated part of my life. Um, and I've just started writing about her a lot and uh, making art about it finally. too bad out there. I was out there yesterday with her uh, mm -hmm. in that area because uh, she, I gave her a bath and we were just walking around. So she should be pretty cool out there. My last project I was on a horse. My other actor was on a horse and I was sh shooting the picture and oh, it was so hard. I mean, I've done it a bunch of times before, but because like I was on the horse, like trying to be here, and then someone else was on the horse, and I them at the same, same time. Do you think you can make her face go a little bit that way? Whoa. Whoa. 
Okay, so nine, nine and, and, and three quarters. And you, honestly, I mean, if you go to ten, you'd be fine. Okay. Yeah. Ten minutes. Fine. Okay. Yay! Yay! So, I'm so excited. Yeah. And this was the only one that you knew there's a look up, right? Yep. Okay. So perfect. Perfect. Cool. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. I'm going to be All in right. there. Well, you guys, let me know if you need anything. Okay. Don't have this. Hey. Thank you. Sometimes I, I plan out these certain, like, plot points or like pieces of the project and then the real like important pieces um, come through after it's done and you're like oh that's why and like that's why that pattern exists. Um, it's a lot through the editing that I find out what something means. So what did you shoot? What are the pictures? I shot um, doing this whole series on like I mean it's going to be like more abstracted later and there's going to be words and stuff but about my sister. Um, my sister died before me. So about this like idea of beautiful perfection. So I was like, let's do some white animals. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. that's really amazing. And then I want to print them as cyanotypes. So oh not, yeah, that's I have all this stuff. Me. So like bait, tiny, tiny contact prints. <laughs> oh cool. And I want to like, I was thinking I would paint them in like in ovals. Oh so yeah. That they're kind of like, I don't know, like old pictures of the gorge or something, but cyanotypes. I bought a blue dress so I could slip into the sky to cradle tangibility with camouflage. Dusk's disappearance transpiring, the poison seeping, pooling around my ribs. Begging for affection from anyone while Indian summer rain races towards wet earth, feeling the wilderness of your weight. Blue fades to midnight to three. I've heard death is like water, and you were born in the morning, your tiny eyelashes painting a silver sunset inside our mother, settling like cobalt ash raining onto my shoulders, unearthing blue. You are the other woman, and your voice is strong and wild when it billows in the wind, dissipating like gray confetti. I hear it in Oregon, speaking amongst the thunder. The rain sounds like a skittish heart. I hear your gentle whisper embedded in my sheets, always. How on earth can you harness love? Such became a death sentence. Your shadow of silver holding my body in the light. I feel you deepest when I want love the most. Pretty good, huh? Max made that. Oh, you wanna roll over in the step? Oh. 